It's time to get out of your comfort zone. Anybody can go to the grocery store and buy store-bought dough in the freezer section, but to make it homemade from scratch, yes, you can do it. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to prepare this resilient dough. It's gonna to come together in no time, and it's pure therapy and so rewarding. Grab your aprons, let's make the dough. guys, I'm Shireen, welcome to my kitchen. Here we make homemade made easy, where I show you how to cook from scratch, but easy enough for everyday cooking. If you're totally into that, subscribe below, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a recipe. I do roll them out each week. This week is part one of our two-part series. Today we're gonna make phyllo dough, which is a very common pastry in Greek and Middle Eastern cooking. You could use it to wrap white flaky fish with, maybe asparagus appetizers, baklava, or spanikopita, which will be our part two of this series. Let's make our dough, let's get started. It's always more accurate to weigh it, so it's great to have a scale. 353 grams or three cups all-purpose flour. One tablespoon of olive oil. So you wanna make sure your mixer is fitted with the dough hook. One teaspoon kosher salt. One teaspoon baking powder. This is the key ingredient to a tender flaky pastry. Two teaspoons of just white distilled vinegar. And now we need some warm tap water. Three quarters of cup warm water. We're first gonna start with that and we're just gonna pour half of the water in here. So just getting it started, push the ingredients into the center to begin mixing the dough. Just on low speed for about two minutes, just until it pulls together. And now you just wanna pour in the remainder of our warm water. First start off at a low speed, let all the ingredients just sort of catch, and then increase our speed to medium. As the dough is mixing, add one tablespoon warm water at a time until you get a moistened dough that looks just like this. Three minutes, total time. That's it. Look at this beautiful dough. Perfect. I want you to see this. This is what you want. Look at that. That is beautiful, a perfect dough. It's nice and smooth. That's the perfect texture that you want. So now you just wanna add a little bit of olive oil into a bowl. We need to rest this dough for about an hour. And then just brush the top with some olive oil as well so it doesn't dry out and form a skin. So we're gonna cover this and just let it set at room temperature for about one hour. Our dough is rusted. Have one dough ball. So we need to divide this into 20 equal portions. So the best way is to weigh the entire dough ball, then divide that by 20, and that's how you know how much you need for each individual dough ball. So we want approximately 27, give or take, 27, 28 grams or one ounce. And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, just as long as it's super close, because we want even sheets. Roll each dough ball. It feels so supple. And then put it onto your parchment lined baking sheet, just like that. Cover this, let it rest for about an hour, and then we'll roll out the pastry dough. This is not a rolling pin, it's actually a wooden dowel. You can get this at any craft store, you could get it at Home Depot, any hardware store. This is gonna make it super easy to roll out and it really cost $2. And now it's time to roll out our pastry. So you wanna lightly dust your work surface with cornstarch. So not flour, cornstarch. And you wanna ensure that each dough ball is lightly dusted in the cornstarch on both sides. So we're working one at a time. So we're gonna roll this out, just stretching the pastry and a quarter turn each time. So what that's doing is ensuring that cornstarch to stretch over the pastry as we're rolling so we don't want it to stick. Make sure you flip it over as you're rolling. So remember, we're just getting the pastry started and we're just working in and lightly dusting the cornstarch, which is really important. 
don't overdust your cornstarch, but have just enough where it doesn't stick. So we're working with half the dough at a time. So we're stretching out our first sheet, lay it onto a piece of parchment paper, we'll keep it covered as we work, and then there's our second sheet. So we want them to be equal sizes. So again, remember, we're just baby steps here. We're getting it started, and there's our third sheet. We're gonna cover this while we work. We want 10 sheets. We're gonna lightly dust with cornstarch and begin to roll out the stack of 10. So again, I can't stress baby steps enough. So we're just getting this started and then flip the entire stack because we don't want to neglect that seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth sheet. We know what we want to ensure <laughs> we want to ensure that each sheet gets equally rolled out. So as we're preparing this and getting it started, we want to continue to flip. So we're just working it, getting it started. I love doing this because it's pure therapy. Just totally chill out while doing this. Now you're just gonna flip over one pastry page because you're gonna kind of flip it like a book, one at a time and lightly dust with the cornstarch. So we're gonna go through each 10 pages of pastry. You like that, pages? <laughs> it's kind of like pages. And make sure each one, see that, needs that dusting. So think a frosting. See this here? That was my dough earlier. Way too much cornstarch. So that will result in a dry tasting dough. You want to fleck off with your pastry brush and get rid of any extra. So now we're ready to go. We're going to roll this out into 9 by 14 inch. So it's basically going to be an oval shaped rectangular, which is perfect. It's standard size and it will work in all your phyllo recipes. Any extra cornstarch, just take your pastry brush and dust it off. It'll take you between one to one and a half hours to make this pastry from start to finish, including rolling it out, not including resting time. It's not too bad for homemade from scratch. So you just want to measure the pastry so it should be 14 inches long by 9 inches wide. Perfect. So I'm just going to peel off the first layer. So there's our pastry sheet. Nice and light and thin. So you want it to be see-through. So if you hold it up to the window and you can see your hands through it, you know you have the perfect thickness. See that? You can make the lido. We now have to wrap this up. So you want two pieces of parchment paper and your plastic wrap. So we'll take our 10 stack of our nine by 14 inch pastry and then add that second layer of parchment right on top. So now we're just gonna gently and carefully, loosely roll this up and wrap it in plastic wrap. Store into your refrigerator for one week or into your freezer three months. And there you have it. Feel a dough that you can make at home. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my Spanicopita for part two. And if you learned something, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Comment in the comment box below. Be sure to subscribe. And if you want to check out how to make homemade chicken stock two ways, you can click this video link right here or click this one and I'll meet you over there.